It hasn't been a cold open for a couple of weeks, I've noticed. Yeah, because... Have, it, have we not been funny enough? Yeah. It also has taken a lot of time, and I've not been getting to re- edit these until late. Ah. So, yeah. So there's not going to be one this week, either. Hello, and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight, I'm joined by Ben. Hello. And no one else. <laughs> just one of those weekends uh how well, was to be, to be fair it's because bragg's getting ready to go to japan in the morning so yep bragg is on the way to japan and no one else cares how was our week ben uh well tuesday night we didn't have locals true so yeah. the growing pains of new store ownership so we didn't have a new locals uh-oh having allergic reaction to the uh oh just so this is gonna be interesting oh. <laughs> uh lisp ben will be coming shortly um <laughs> And then today I won locals, so you did. That was, I was happy. Yeah, pretty happy. Hmm. Rescue Ace went sh- all over the competition, and it was pretty good. That's brought imagery I that I don't ever want to have to think of again. I only didn't. I only opened unplayable twice. In like the eight whole time. games. Well, in like eight to twelve games. Yeah, I think I played like ten. But not ideal, but. Yeah. Only open unplayable twice, which was fine because I won one of the two. Because the other was against Leo, and I was just like, pass. I yeah, pass. True. True, I pass. true. True, 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 true. I'm just gonna pass. I'm sorry, I pass. <laughs> oh no, I still didn't draw good enough. I pass. <laughs> I didn't draw a playable card until like my fifth draw, and I was just like, oh. Turns out if I pass, you can't do anything. I pass. Yeah, it's um, yeah, kind of like I can't remember what the deck's called now. Um, but yeah, if you don't put anything on the board, you don't die. Um, my week. Uh, so yeah, Tuesday obviously didn't happen. Uh, Wednesday, no, Thursday over at the other store uh, did happen with a small number of people. Um, it is the last time that I'll be playing Ice Jades for a little while. I'm putting them away. Um, so they're not call- very good. No. Um, not at again, all. Again, because I don't have the cards that make it good, it makes it very difficult to play. And I don't want to suffer through that anymore. I've decided that's not what I want to do. That makes sense. <laughs> Have you considered playing Rescue Ace? No. Would you consider playing Rescue Ace? Never. Yeah, too many purple cards or pink cards. Whatever the colour of the trap cards are. Red? I don't mind trap cards. I just don't like that particular mechanic. Of going it's, set four. It's a set four. Like, for a set four deck, there's just a lot of shit going on that I really don't want to know about. Yeah, that helps you OTK. It's fine. Nah. Just Jake, nah. whenever he sees someone, or whenever Jake thinks about setting four. Ah! No, no, <laughs> because today I debuted the new deck. Again, missing pieces because I slapped it together uh, slightly hungover this morning. Uh, Unchained. Yes. How did that go for you? It was fine. That's I, impressive. Yeah, it's like a, quite consistent. Um, it's just getting used to the lines of play is a bit tricky because um, it's no longer just oh how do i get to a material to make the link to it's like i have to make a different link to and then summon something else and make an exes okay. and then something something mm. like it does some cool stuff it sets up uh double d no triple d wave king caesar yep so you've got a double like semi omni negate if yep. i activate any card that tries to summon you just like detached no nope. yeah um so yeah once i get some extra cards i will um be able to play that too it's capacity like get some extra cards what do you need um some extra deck stuff mainly like i think i have maybe all but two of the cards the rest is just literally i thought i had them in my binder uh, and okay. then i've got there and i'm like oh they're not here. here so yeah well, once i have that those. picks up on the new mics just waits till he gets here then turns off the siren why has uh, someone's been pulled over out the front of the house maybe Two lights you can't like really you. find out yeah um Besides that, I also bought uh, two boxes of Duelist Nexus. Uh, my pulls were fucking terrible. Um, they were good for other people. Like, you got the Dino Xyz, yes. uh, Leo got the Synchro, Lost. and I got one of the links that I needed to be able to play the deck today. So, like, although it was much more expensive than what I would have liked to have paid for the link, I got it. Um, so, yeah, I, other than the spell that, like, puts stuff into the spell and trap, there's not a lot that I actually want or need from this set. Yeah, I the further it goes on, the more I realise I kind of want Revolution Synchrons. Oh, um, that too. I cards, do need that. Cards are really good. Yeah. 
I'm just not. I'm not sure because what are they sitting at price wise at the moment? They're like ninety to one hundred. Yeah, I don't know if I want to pay that much for them. Yeah, I don't. I, again, I'm gonna wait until I get back from Japan. Then I'll be like, how much are they? Well, you can probably wait a little bit longer. It's a yeah. little bit longer. Yeah, I'm kind of cl- uh, like I'll need more cards for it as well. This is. Uh, it keeps becoming a problem that like I want to try these new decks, but then because I don't have like random ass shit from a while ago. I just can't play them. But that's the good thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that you can use the random shit from a while. I know. This is the issue that I'm having, though, is that I don't personally have those cards. What cards do you need? Uh, to do the revolution thing, I need um, regulars. Oh. Oh. That's not old and random. That's recent and getting reprinted in the next month, so it's fine. Is that how close the tins Mega are? Mega tins. Is yeah. that how? That, are they seriously that close? They normally drop August, September. Oh shit. Okay. Well, yeah. I guess I get the reprints then. Cool. September tomorrow. August tomorrow. August tomorrow. Is it a thirty-one day month? August is thirty-one days. Yes. What about July? Yes. It is. <laughs> have you never done the thing where your knuckles tell you what month? I do, but also I don't have to think about it all that often. I think about it all the time because I always just go, oh, my knuckles will tell me, so I don't need to remember it. It's not information my brain needs to know. Like my nine times tables. My brain doesn't need to know them. I can just look and go, oh, it's 36, yeah. Fair enough. Um, no need to learn, kids. And then in Master Duel, I, for whatever reason, decided just to go right to the end of the current festival. Don't know why. It's literally just the little nameplate that you get at the I, end. No, I abandoned that. Like, the moment I finished those gems, I was like, bye. Yeah, look, that's fair. I was just enjoying the deck, and I know there's probably not an opportunity for me to play that variant again. So, How did like, you go with the constant string of uh, fucking lab players? Th- this is the thing, right? It was like a 50-50 whether I was like, okay, I can play through this, or, oh, shit, no. And it basically depended on what spell and trap removal I um, had. I the... the funny thing that I had happen a couple of times is, like, I've set up my board and I've kept um, a couple cards in my hand because yep. I usually know how this one goes, but they, like, pitch one of the pieces of furniture and another card to set the welcome off turn yep. so I'm like oh okay cool end phase I'm gonna <laughs> cosmic cyclone it <laughs> you have lost two cards and all your resources oh no <laughs> I uh I made the well educated decision of being like I'm gonna play dark world yeah then invested in three quarters of the deck and was like I don't really want to spend any more on dark world <laughs> so then I just played the event anyway with a half three quarters finished dark world deck and just kept playing until i eventually won games i was just like yep, look at the opening hand look at my opponent what they did skip two would second be, every time would it be that good if like you're missing the dangers though because i feel like at least well, in the current danger <laughs> yeah yeah possibly the worst one to you have on cheap, its own but it was fine like i got there eventually but a lot of it was just like choose go second a look at what opponent does look at my hand scoop or there was like a cute interaction though that I found against lab where you could nuke their board regardless so like you'd summon the level 1 guy to their their board trigger the effect to discard the one that if it's discarded by an opponent's effect it summons back and then either nukes all monsters or nukes all spells and traps but it chooses on resolution so oh. it summons back they read it and go fuck chain all their spells and trap cards and then you just go monsters and then everything misses timing <laughs> it's like oh yeah cool easy win thank you That's so pretty much I just scooped if I didn't see that because they've already banned the hand loop dark world yep. haven't they yeah yep. that's but funny there was a cute interaction where I was like I'm literally just gonna scoop if my opponent starts playing lab cards and that card's, that setup's not in my hand I'm scooping done and then yeah. I hit like this weird point where you know how lady lab rips a card out of your hand yep for some reason, every single time, it ripped my Dark World dealings. And I was like, what, what, what are we doing here? If Dark World dealings was in my hand, that was the card that got ripped. And I was like, this is strange. Yeah. I had, like, there was many different, inverted commas, different kinds of builds of Labyrinth. Um, the one that I seemed to interact with most was people that just turboed into like Lady Lab hand rip 
like just trying to reduce as many cards from your hand as possible before you could start playing. Yep. Very unfun. Yeah. I uh, found that I ran into multiple variants and those variants were, are they playing the starter deck or are they playing the deck they built? <laughs> yeah, there is that. And if they were playing the starter deck, I was like, oh, I'm going to get rid of that Storming Mirror Force that you got back there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, the Storming Mirror Force actually caused me quite a lot of problems because the funny interaction that I kept coming up with was... Um, once I get the big uh, Dark Lord fusion on board, yep. my fairies can't be targeted. Yep. So, like, I think it's um, Archfiend something or other that's, like, um, target a card in the field, destroy it, and then um, send a fiend from your deck. So they go to target my stuff, and they can't. And they're like, oh, um, I guess I target the field spell. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, but anyway, that festival's, I think, pretty much done today. Um, so, yeah, if you didn't go in it, uh, A, you didn't have to verse nearly as many trap decks, and B, you missed out on some gems. Did not have the chance. I was like, back to ranked. Off I go. Yeah, I should jump back into rank. I might do that tonight. I mean, like, plat three, I think. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. This is the furthest I've tried in a long time. Normally, I just, like, get to, like, plat five, and I'm like, I'm done. Have you gotten <laughs> to master yet? No, I've never tried. Oh, I don't even think I've gotten to... Oh, no, I've gotten to top of diamond because I got the diamond for master diamond. Yeah, you did do diamond for diamond and then, yeah, that's where you stopped trying, yeah. apparently. That was the last time that I did ranked. So, yeah. Long-ass time. Do you reckon you'd change back and start playing it again if uh, tier element gets addressed? Like, do you Oh, find... yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah so like... that's your biggest thing is like... Yeah, I just don't like playing, playing or playing against tier element. It's like one of the least fun decks I've ever had to play against. That's fair. That's fair. Um, so, uh, while we're still chatting about Master Duel, they have brought in a recent update as of July 27th, uh, all to do with the upcoming WCQ. Uh, so you get a login bonus for um, like up until the 31st to get some uh, WCQ sleeves for your deck, sort of the red and white theme. They look mm. kind of nice. Um, there's an events page in game where you can um, apparently watch along once it starts oh. the actual um, like prelims. I wonder what it's going to be like to watch that live. Well, we're going to find out. Well, that's so. the thing. I think it'll probably be a similar thing to the current dual live, or maybe yeah. like rooms. Like, so it can be one of two, right? So it's either what it's like in dual live, where it's like pre-recorded, yep. and you just get to watch what actually happens yep or it'll be like rooms where you watch along as like you kind of like what you do in dual live where you watch along but then once it catches up to current game because it like it slows right down and you're watching it action by action do you reckon they'll have the timer for worlds the turn timer i mean maybe like i'm curious as to whether or not they just run through the game as it is or whether or not they make modifications to be like oh, that's worlds well You'd hope there'd be some level of modification. Time, maybe not. But what we brought up a couple of weeks ago now, I think, is like the, the imperm, imperm column. column. Like, yeah. I feel like at least at a a world's level event, that feature probably shouldn't, shouldn't be, be there. No, not at all. But at the same time, it's like you're already getting a lot of read of what your opponent has because the second you go to do something and they have anything in their hand, you get a level of knowledge. I'm assuming that. Everyone will just be playing with always chain on. Mm. But even if you don't have anything, I don't think it like flips back over. Oh, true. Like if you don't have anything to do, yep. I don't think it's going to be like constantly checking in with you. Hey. It's not like the Game hey, do you Boy. you want to look at the board? But that's the thing. It's you not like the, the Game Boy games. Because if you had always chain on in the Game Boy games and you press the button, it'd be like, you have nothing to do. Would you like to look at some cards? <laughs> okay, nice. Maybe that's the way it'll work. Maybe. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see how it all goes because those are 3v3s as well. Yes. Which is, yeah, it's going to be weird, but eh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, well, this is the first WCQ for Master Duel as well. Oh, so it'll all be WCQ, a. Just board championship. So WC uh, for Master Duel. So it'll be very interesting to see how they uh, decide to do it. Um, there is also a voting um, system for your team because I've each voted team for is. Team Bowden. 
Well, yeah, I haven't gone on and voted yet. Um, so um, for voting, you get a packet to a legacy ticket and some other things. No one really cares about that. But 250 winners uh, who voted for the winning team will be selected in a lottery draw and receive 2,000 gems. That all of a sudden seems like a huge fucking waste of my time. I thought if they just won, I'd get some gems. Not I'd have to then win a lottery but to get... But it's still 250 people 15 bucks from worth of gems. those that voted. Yeah, but like... Yeah. But also, you don't lose anything from voting. It's not like you had to pay... Like it's not a lot. I had to lottery. figure out where it was and check what team boat. Oh, was you on poor and... thing! You had to navigate a website. I Are you did, okay? I did have to navigate a couple <laughs> menus, and you know, some of those menus made me a little uncomfortable. So, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, you can change your vote freely during the voting period. So, I'm if your voting not period con- closes before Worlds, though, uh, up until the fourth. Oh yeah, well before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can't wait for the team you voted for to lose and yeah, then change like, it. Change. <laughs> change now. This isn't the World Cup. Like, you can't just swap like, teams once your team gets eliminated. Like, lethal is on board. He's like, change, 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 change. <laughs> um, okay, so what else have we got? Uh, you can also find information about members of each team and voting for the page. Uh, the rewards. Oh, so this is what you get for um, your having... Oh. Yeah, because you get extra stuff if your team goes well. I think the 2,000 gems is like an extra thing. Yep. Uh, so if your team's in top eight, you get a Legacy Pack ticket. Uh, top four, you get um, another Legacy Pack Isn't ticket, like but you get teams? a Glossy Super, guaranteed. Um, yeah, I think there's ten. So two people, two groups of people just go, eh. Um Runner-up gets a Legacy Pack ticket with a minimum Royal Finish SR and a... Second SR guaranteed, uh, two packs of that. Uh, and then the winner gets Legacy Pack with a Royal Rare UR guaranteed and another guaranteed UR, plus the bonus gems, bonus gems that get selected. Okay. Besides sure. that, we also have a uh, couple of uh, things that have been added. So uh, some punk sleeves, no one cares about those. Um, but we do get two new secret packs. Uh, so one of those is uh, God- Guardians of the Secret Summit. So it's just giving Sword Soul a pack because they didn't have one before. Okay, They're, it's fine. Because they were only in the selection pack. So like, if you didn't get them at the time that the selection pack was there, you had to craft them individually. They should, that deck should just not be existing anymore in that game. Oh, the deck's fine. Uh, we are probably hitting the point now where it is now completely useless. But uh, Protoss it's... is still very much legal. You can just Protoss people out of the game. Guess what? I didn't pay attention to that. When I was playing Sword Soul at the time, I just assumed Protoss was banned. And I was like, eh, fine. Sword Soul's fine. It's it's fairly benign until you get Protoss, and then you're like, oh, oh dear. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, the second pack that's been added is Ultimate Traditional Art. Uh, this is the punk pack, because similarly, they were only in selection. That means that we're getting Gold Pride soon. Gold Pride. Gold I- Pride. I mean, I mean, maybe. They tend to turbo out some of the TCG archetypes into... Um, What's the one before Marvel? Gold Pride? Uh, the Bugs. Wait, was it the Bugs? Oh, I thought... No? Oh, no, Goaty. And that's in Master Duel. It is. Yeah. Yeah, they tend to add these pretty quick. And most of them end up getting a solo mode because I feel like because the OCG hasn't interacted with them before... <laughs> we need to learn. Yeah. Let's just give you this so you so, can work out what it does. There were there was this this team and they were they were the gold prides and all their supporters just yelled gold pride. <laughs> They're not filming our locals to do the solo though. Everyone around the world yells gold pride when they see gold pride cards, Jake. Do they? They do. I've seen it. Well, I was about to say we will find out at Worlds, but a no one will be playing it at Worlds. B no one can play it at Worlds, um, which we'll get to in a second. Um, but they've also added some bundles. Um, so these are. Um, predominantly aesthetic things so um you can either get the bundle with the legendary dragon of white or the uh legendary magician of dark so you get like the background the sleeves the icon yeah um of that and then in addition to that you also get five master packs okay and i think it costs 700 i think i did it when i was drunk last night i'm not 100 percent sure i'll do it right now um but yeah like it's a cool little aesthetic piece um and you get some packs for it so i appreciate when they do those with packs because when you're just buying aesthetics it's like this does very little for me i'm not at all 
concerned about the fact that it, this may stop the audio recording, but it's fine. If it stops the audio recording, too bad. I mean, just speak loud enough that you might be able to hear it offline. Exactly. <laughs> Continue. Um, so, um, despite a lot of speculative lists having come out in the past couple of weeks, they have finally released an official world ban list. 600 gems. Is there only 600? 600 gems, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Um, so, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a massive list, in fairness. I haven't looked through the entirety of it, but a lot of it's just either stuff that hasn't been released in certain regions, like a, there's a whole list of vanillas, uh, that just have not been released in TCG, TCG. Yeah. including, shit, including but... Royal Guard. Not the Royal Guard. Um, that actually upsets me. Cockroach Knight's legal. It's fine. It is, yeah. So is the Prisman. Prisman. Um, yeah. There was nothing that stuck out to me as being like, oh yeah, no, they've definitely banned that for like... Um, yeah, the, the life point burning cards being legal is interesting. It's like every year we've always been like, Ah, that doesn't matter. And every year it goes to time. Yep. And here we are. What was the last awards? Was that Salamangrate versus Borderstone? I think so. And Bowden lost the final, calling fucking... Yeah, yeah, because the opponent desires... Calling them Cyber Dragon off World of Life Obedience, yeah. Was it Cyber Dragon he called? Yep. Yeah. No, hang on, no. that Because no. he got boarded. No, 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 no. Or was this the year before? But it was playing Altergeist. So it was the year before? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, uh, there is a list. uh, The link's in the news portion if you want to actually look into it thoroughly. Uh, It is massive, so get comfortable. Um, Besides that, uh, we have some product stuff. Actually, no, before we move on to that... um, Duel Links. You remember Duel Links, that uh, thing oh, that people still do? It still exists? Uh, yeah. Uh, so they're also doing a WCQ... Uh, oh, yeah, celebrate. they have a world, don't they? They do have a world. They worlds. do have a world. Yeah. Um, but they also have a little campaign going for people to get them involved. Um, so that starts as of tomorrow until August 5th, um, and they get some tickets and stuff, and similar aesthetic stuff to what they did in Master Duel with the two um, match-winning Blue Eyes and Dark oh, Magician things. Okay. Yeah, okay. nothing major, but also that whole thing is redundant, so who cares? Um, so, some product stuff that's coming up. Uh, we've got the next run of Lost Arts that are coming very soon. I have completely lost track of I'm what so Lost Arts I'm so behind. Are. I think I'm, like, I was at a point where I was missing, like, three, yeah. and I would have had to go to eBay to get them. Now I'm pretty sure I'm missing, like, ten. Yeah. <laughs> It's getting rough. And I don't know why they keep going with it. Like, can they, can they stop? Like, the more they do, the less significant they become. Yes. Or at the very least, they should have just done, like... Oh, they, they are doing one every month, isn't, isn't it supposed to be that? I mean, yeah, that's the way they build, but, like, we seem to just get, like, five packs at a time. Yeah, we seemingly just get them in an entire batch load. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the ones that are getting done in this most recent batch are Mitsu the Insect Ninja, Grand Convergence, Macrocosmos, Dark Ruler No More, Masked Ninja, Esibu, Ebisu, yeah, Ebisu, and Magician Salvation, which I thought was a weird one, because I can't think of what they've altered on that, unless um, DMG was naked. Probably. I think it is legitimately a cleavage thing. (laughs) Yes. It probably is. Dark Um, Ruler No More is interesting. Well, that one's purely because um, Dark Ruler Hades is on it, and they generally edit out his horns. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I got hit with Dark Ruler in Arsenal the other day, and it did yeah. the... Uh, and I was like... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah no, that's, it has a, the thing that's a where, like, recent The head pops up and shoots the laser beam, and I was like, oh, that sucks. Uh, activate tidying, bounce. And my opponent <laughs> went, oh, yeah, that's a thing, scoop. <laughs> Green Convergence actually looks really nice. It's like a whole planet lineup type thing oh okay like, yeah you can see a bit of it just oh that's there. neat yeah it looks nice i don't know what grand converges actually oh wait oh that's the board wipe if you have uh macro on board <laughs> sure actually, what do they change about macro uh they didn't believe in planets so <laughs> other th- planets now exist on the card imagine they changed it 
because Pluto's no longer a planet and they took <laughs> they took Pluto out. <laughs> oh my god. Could be. I don't know if it is the reason, but fuck I want it to be. be. Maybe Macrocosmos oh is just more shredded though. Yeah, he does like seem maybe borderline just, anemic. Yeah, maybe he's just more shredded. Like, yeah, that's odd. Wait, we and can't then, show the kids ripped man. And I'd turn them into Josh. Oh, and Masked Ninja, I think, is throwing bombs, which he wasn't before. Ah, oh, and said he was throwing cupcakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who doesn't? Was like, food for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was the other thing? Oh, um, just as we've finally had uh, OTS 21 put into our hands, we have the announcement of OTS 23. Uh, Enemy controller? I don't mind it. Like, I get it. And I, yeah, again, I also don't mind it, but it's a bit late in it. Look, it could be coming up in future formats. You never know. It's one of those... It's like, left the format. It's, well, that's the thing. It's one of those side cards that's like, for three months of the year, it's good. And then for you the have rest, to wait another nine months for it to crop up again. Three months of the year, I, I would argue three months of the five years. <laughs> Look, it's fine. Because like, the last it, time it was playable was Zoo format. The one... Well, no, some people were playing it in, like... Um, Striker? No, not Striker. What's the other one I was thinking of? Um... I've lost it. There was a point where I think it was even in our most recent OTS. I think I mean not OTS. YCS. Yeah, people play it for in... Sprite. No, no, you play it in um, Kashira. Yeah, it's a very common Kashira card for the mirror match. That's why it's getting the print. But yeah. Kashira even hopefully though... will be banned by the time. True, very it true. Becomes a thing. The other random thing I thought about this is like, although it's like a generic card and they've, they've had generic cards in the past, like Imperm and stuff, they sort of lead with that as like, oh yeah, this is the card. This one doesn't seem at the same level as that. Better than Brand Fusion. How the fuck dare you? It's better than Brand Fusion. I really like Brand Fusion. I didn't I'm, think I would. Like, why did it? I guess it's because you... No, no, fuck it. My logic doesn't work here. I was going to say, why did they not just print it in the last set? Instead of thrust, and then I was like, "Oh, well, they wouldn't want to print two supers, uh, uh, two spells." And I'm like, "Thrust is a spell. Why was it not in the set instead of thrust? <laughs> thrust they, should have been in the next one. Before. Yeah, but thrust should have been in the next pack. But then where would they put econ? In this pack. So we should. Twenty two should have had econ. Twenty three should have had thrust. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I can understand why they had thrust and. Brand of Fusion in the same because Brand of Fusion is purely archetypal. Just had random thought of all. We're on to OTS 23. Remember back when we had OTS 8 and we were like, oh, I wonder what they're going to call the next one? Yeah, they've changed, there was a they've whole, changed the name every time. There was a whole thing where, they like, once they get to 8, yeah, they just don't know the number 9 or above. But clearly, the person who didn't know 9 and above got fired and they yes. brought in a new dude and he's like, I know all the numbers. You're hired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> also, it didn't exist at the time, so this wouldn't have been a thing they could have done, but they should have put a common version of the number one star that associates. Oh, but that like, would have been, been a cool We didn't concept. have number one, two, three, four back when OTS 1, 2, 3, and 4 came out. So True. That would have been a cool thing to have been able to do at the time, and they should start it now and just do... A common version of number 23. No, no, instead of putting like all the random shit commons in there that nobody wants, just go back and start doing all the ones that you missed. To be fair, uh, Morphtronic. Ah, fuck oh. your Morphtronic. There's a Morphtronic in this, in like OTS 22 that very much needed a reprint. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to seeing that in nine and a half years. Jake, you got FTK by the deck the other day. Well, A, we don't know if you cheated. B, uh, I don't care. <laughs> I opened unplayable. I was getting beaten by anything I was versing. Yep, and you lost. Anywho, I didn't lose today. Well, I lost a couple. <laughs> yeah, I didn't lose today. I oh, know. I only except lost... for all those games that I lost. No, no, I lost. No, I only lost one round to Jordan. Everything else I won. Yes. Easy wins. Um, in other news, uh, we have a uh, release event for the upcoming Red Dragon Ice Cream Structure Deck. Um, so they've got a specialty mat um, coming out for it, as they tend to do for some of the structure decks, and it's of the Red Dragon Archfiend retrain card that cheats out um, the OG when yep. it leaves the field. Actually, looks really nice. Yeah. It's actually, now that I've got them like 
effectively side by side. There are similarities. I was going to say, it looks like this, doesn't it? It looks kind of similar to this. So this yeah. is a Jack Atlas in the foreground. No, no, it hasn't got Jack Atlas. Oh, that one doesn't have Jack Atlas? No, no, no. This one is literally just the dragon. Oh, I thought that blur to the right hand side was Jack Atlas. <laughs> no, that's its. It's no, like the lens it's, flare. It's, it's the lettering for the sample. <laughs> Wait, no. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was Jack Atlas. I thought that A was Jack Atlas. <laughs> A is for Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. See, it is there. Do you, do you want to borrow these? Nah. Good, because I need them. <laughs> I'm so blind. Um, couple other bits. Um, so, in some uh, things in the OCG, they have mm. updated that you are now allowed to surrender. Oh, yeah, that wasn't a thing, was it? Yeah, they weren't allowed yeah. to. I don't think you're allowed to surrender at Worlds still. Quite possibly not. Yeah, or you have to, like, request a judge call and then be like... I wish to surrender, and then it is confirmed that you surrender. I mean, I don't think it should be that problematic. Like, strategic surrendering should be allowed. Yeah. Like, if your opponent just opens the nut, you've opened no hand traps, and no matter what you do, you're not playing through that. I think it should be a thing where you can go, yep, I, I scoop, let's go I'm to out. game two. No because at least then you've got something going for you. Because if you just go in with like, oh yeah, uh, normal summon Alistair into your fucking full cash tira board with triple hand traps, mm. it's like, what the fuck are you going to do? Remember like, being able to conceal some knowledge of like, what your opponent's playing against, at least gives you a bit of a swing back into game two. Because if he doesn't win game two, he's done. Surely though, at like, at a world championship level, it's a case of being like... Don't play Alistair for starters. Oh, like, <laughs> everyone would know what you're playing. Because yeah, there's only that. 24 players in the room and you've got an entire day to walk around and look at what everyone's playing. Well, I wonder if there is that as much of that at Worlds as what there would be at like a YCS or whether they do try to be like, yo, go sit down. No, it's like, it's just an open room. It's just like table, 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 table. I reckon it should all be screened off. Like each individual booth. Like eventually you will get to a point where everyone knows because everyone will Everyone's just tell everybody everyone, else. Everyone's your teammates or your friends. Or See, but your then country. another strategy comes into it. And you lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, yeah, no, he's no. on Pearly, bro. <laughs> no, he's, he's playing uh, Angels. Don't, don't besperch my Angels. I already shit-talked Alistair and now you're bringing my agents into this? Yes. How dare you? You bastard. Um, Opponent normal summons Angel of Mars. <laughs> Oh god, they they deserve to lose. <laughs> Mars is terrible. The only one you actually the two three. There's only three you play. Four? Maybe four. Five. No no four. Definitely four. Okay. Uh, Definitely just four. The two Venuses, Earth, and the new one Mercury that cheats one out. Okay. Five? We'll put Mars in there as well. No. We'll put Mars in there. Put Jupiter if anything. I feel like we're talking about fucking Sailor Moon now. Um but anyway, um, Something, um, something, by me. <laughs> I don't know how that goes. It was possibly... No, continue, continue. No, no, continue. no. I have this point to bring up. Okay. It was possibly one of the worst sung anime oh, intros. Oh, yeah, definitely. It was like... <laughs> that chick was flat. She was terrible. <laughs> she like, hits the recording studio that day. It's like the fifth anime intro she's had to record. She's like... Ah. <laughs> It's so bad. But anyway, this is not the uh, Trash Taste podcast. We'll move on. Comment below uh, what you think the worst, Lisa, the worst song anime intro is. Um, the last bit of news before I move on to questions is um, not too news filled, but it is intriguing. Um, so I think it was in the last couple of days that on the Konami OCG website, a Hard countdown time. timer appeared. Um, so, it uh, came up with the caption, New Information on the 25th Anniversary Celebration Project. Um, and it seems to count down to like halfway through... Uh, it's day two of Worlds at 1pm. Day PM. two. Day two of Worlds at 1pm. So, it's, I'm assuming that's when they're going to start Top Cut. Yeah. So, it'll be interesting to see what that's actually all about. Um, I'm going to be in the room watching it live. True. Except, will they have a translator for English? Oh, I'll just be looking at the screen like just, ah. <laughs> guys, it's this. 
Trust I don't me. Know, I don't know what this is, but it's there. Um, so, so Destiny. Ah, damn it, Ed. Uh, <laughs> that's just for us um, so moving on to our discord if you weren't aware we do have a discord link will be oh I think we're going to say what you thought it was going to be I'll have no clue it's a celebration thing so yeah, that's uh, all yeah, I know a lot of people like new summoning mechanic I think it's going to be some product yeah it'll legit just be some sort of product mm. given that it's only OCG website and not the TCG website it's probably just going to be some OCG product yes yeah, it'll, it'll probably be their Christmas product. What if that? They're like be? year end. Maybe yeah, a celebration they usually pack. get. Yeah, they usually get like some special end of year thing, and we'll probably get an advent calendar. Hey, we haven't had advent calendar for years. Yeah, good. They're shit. I actually kind of like them. <laughs> like, See, I would like them more if there was also chocolate. If they weren't as expensive as they were, I would buy three every year. <laughs> I mean, you could probably get some cheap at the moment. Like, if you started so what ferreting... I, <laughs> yeah, I, I just waited, and then after Christmas, there was places that had them for, like, a quarter of the price. And then in February, you're like, Oh, second day of Advent Calendar! <laughs> <laughs> On the first day of February. <laughs> <sighs> so, um, as I was saying, uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, thank you to everybody for uh, having jumped in and asked us some questions because it's looking very bare. And now we have multitude of questions, many things to chat about. So many questions. So many questions. First one comes to us from LJ, who I feel like is a new listener, or maybe he was last week. I'm Your not sure. competitor, Jake. Hmm? Is, that you put it? is LJ Hooker still in business? No, we definitely have had this guy comment because uh, um, I've someone... Made this comment yeah. before? No, Lachlan made this comment. Oh. Um, but anyway, uh, his question this week is, what Yu-Gi-Oh card do you think represents your personality? Why is yours Alistair? It's not. Mm. It's it not. does the thing. Oh, yeah, the thing. The thing. Yeah. You fuse all the time, Jake. Alistair doesn't fuse all the time. I've never seen Alistair eat his vegetables. Yeah, no. I don't know. Genuinely never thought about this before. Yeah, it's not something I'd thought about. Although, I kind of like the idea of my personality being change of heart. Is like, most people see me as the nice side when I'm like 9 to 5 working. This is then... Jake on the outside. This is Jake on the inside. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Rescue AC lift, though. I knew you were going to say rescue AC <laughs> Oh yeah, you you do that all the time, <laughs> constantly. <laughs> uh, second question this week comes to us from Six R Six. Is a deck that only has at best a two card combo bad? Uh, yes. I wouldn't think so. Name one two card combo deck that's good. Unchained. Should have said Sword Soul. I gave it to you. You didn't say Sword Soul. Ooh, fresh question. As live podcast question asked... Podcast. Shocker. Uh, depends on the format. There are formats where two-card combos ain't gonna cut it. Because you're gonna get... The, if you don't... If your board gets broken and you rely on two-card combos to play, you've lost. Mm -hmm. The game is over. Yeah. Whereas if you're playing one-card combos and your board gets broken, it's okay. You can play a one-card combo and hopefully maybe come back. Yeah, please see Cash Tiro for more information. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, next question is from Samuel Davidson the uh, Third. I recently made a fusion pile deck. What are your best pile decks? What is the most number of archetypes you could put in a deck? How do you define an archetype? Depending on how you define it, my deck has anything from 4 to 12. Yeah, do you define an archetype as, like, playing the monsters? Or do you define it as an engine? Well, it's... the archetype for me comes down to the name. Yeah. Like, but if you're just playing, oh, like, I'm playing three sword solar? Oh, yeah, in my deck. I'm playing the sword solar archetype. Uh, I'd say it's like an engine. Like, yeah, even then you're playing worms. And, uh, uh. Look, I'm, my brain's on sword solar apparently here. <laughs> um, I don't know, like, 60 card, dragon, synchro, dark, box, Piles are probably like the closest I get to throwing in like a shitload of different archetypes. Um, uh, what's the most recent part? With like zombies and mm, yeah. a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That's one. It's uh, all just get your Sayuya so you can then get other stuff and go. 
That's one deck that I actually regret that I didn't play at the time was the like zombie lunar light. Um, all that, yeah, all that nonsense. That guinea pile. Looking back on it, that looks so fucking fun. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Like, like one card gets disrupted, you just like ah, oh, the other engine go. Yeah, it was very much like that. Not like there was a, like you had the summon sork and all that nonsense as well. Yeah, it was, yeah, a little ridiculous, but kind of funny. Um, it was pretty fun. Yeah, um, the only like pile deck I could think that I've played recently was on Marcedor and it was like Punk Fairy like Punk Ashizu I think specifically yeah um, so yeah not that many archetypes involved but it had some stuff happening the amount when I was playing in that fucking Angels and Demons thing the amount the of, Brown Festival yeah the amount of uh, lab decks that were just like haha I normal summon uh, Midora and I'm just like yeah a lot of them are using why? the shufflers yeah why are you doing this <clears throat> I think it was so that like if they're using the furniture pieces to discard they would have like some advantage to it okay because Vernisilf was a big one in there as well and like Vernisilf was playing the millers as well yeah so if they were playing the shufflers they could put some of their good stuff back okay sure anyway it, it's okay it's okay um but yeah uh I couldn't honestly be bothered playing a pile deck in current format i just feel like it would lose but now you can play some elements in there and you get some dragons in there and i'll look you play a little bit of synchron if i could find a list that i like in the current format i probably would put together a tier pile with like bestials and deshizus and light swarms and and you get a little know. bit of uh, the light swan doesn't work now that we don't have curious anymore. strippers and yeah boats and some hose <laughs> Uh, next question comes to us from Rukasu. Uh, should future decks and support be archetype specific to increase play of older decks? Uh, so we don't hurt older decks by banning key cards like Scareclaw and Super Heavy and uh, or only problem cards that could be OP like Verte or Christron. Uh, go again. Should future decks and support be archetype specific to increase play of older decks? So like when they bring out a new Christron Halka Fibrax kind of card. Yep. Lock it to the archetype. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think, like, if it's more than fine releasing stuff for older decks, like, that's kind of the whole premise of why Yu Gi Oh runs the way it does, is because every so often they release a card and it's like, oh, this actually makes this old deck busted. So making them more specific to the archetype does address a lot of the balance issues that they have until those decks become OP. I like that we got the like three pillar link supports and it's like halka fibrax for synchros banned uh predator plant for fusions banned bujinki for xes this card's useless <laughs> i mean i think the uh key card that got banned for xes is dryden no 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 like i'm saying the link of the links yeah yeah, yeah. like they like... each got a core support piece and the bujinki just doesn't, doesn't cut it. Yeah, no. Imagine if it summoned a material from deck. Like yeah, that'd be kind of bonkers. One from grave, one from deck. Like, that'd be cool. It is. Instead, no. Do you know what I feel like would be even better? Is if it was a quick effect to do that. Like, not oh, an not on summon, summon effect. Yeah. Like, you just had it sitting there, and then off turn, you're just like, watch out! Yeah. Like, Verte got to do it on turn. Like, off turn, or not as an on summon. That's when my brain was going there. Yep. Yeah, but Jinky should have also had the same idea. Yeah, look, probably. Um, next question comes to us from Melanie. Uh, what's the strongest Yu-Gi-Oh monster you could beat in a fight? <laughs> um, Something quite small. Answering for uh, Lachlan, he could beat the Speedroid horse. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I don't know. I could take Feral Imp in a fight. Feral Imp. Yep. Interesting. Imp's then, not that big, Jake. True, but then you have to deal with King of the Feral Imp, and it's just a whole scene. Oh yeah, that does become just an ordeal. Yeah. Shows up and he's like, "Why do you? Why do you? Why are you punch my child?" <laughs> and I'm like, oh, "Sorry, King of the Feral Imps. I'm trying to prove a point here." Um, I could beat Pearly. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just kick it. Yeah. <laughs> For the record, I don't go around kicking dogs. 
<laughs> I feel like that needs to be said. <laughs> um, Gosh darn it. The second part of Melanie's question. Um, what would your stats, level, attribute, and type be as a Yu-Gi-Oh monster? Uh, would you be an, in an existing archetype, or would you be part of a new one? That'd be boring as fuck. It'd be like level four vanilla warrior. <laughs> 1600 attack, 1200 defense. Earth. Earth. This is the most boring card you can have. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like I haven't imagined myself in an archetype, so I'd have to get back to you. Um, Jake be I'm like, gonna, I'm gonna I, ass- I am a spellcaster. I'm going to assume that I'm dark. <laughs> dark spellcaster. Yeah. Done. My effect would be, um, while this card is on the board, it also presents as a light monster. Remember... Unless you're a massively ripped dude, you're a level 4 monster. <laughs> True. Uh, next question is from 6 r 6 uh, What will it take for players to stop hating Sky Striker? Uh, stop um, having the fan base be a bunch of pedos. Um, <laughs> does the archetype need a retcon to where Ray and other women cards are obviously over 18? Or is it just hurt feelings from TOS format? No. That, that, it, it, it need... It need to be age gated. Yeah, I don't think you can really go back and wreck on it because uh, it doesn't really solve the problem of the fans. Yeah, especially when they were like, "We're releasing a manga. She's thirteen, and everyone goes, "Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. What this body pillow? Don't stress. Don't look at it. It's fine." Um, yeah, I. D- I don't think anything could really save the appearance of Sky Striker. They've doomed themselves, frankly. Yeah, the Poe the... is like the only one that I'll forgive for it because he piled the deck to an insane degree, even when it wasn't like one hundred percent busted as well. Good. Like uh, he was playing it even uh, when it was at its weaker points. Activate Misty Mind. There is that. I activate Misty Mind. Fast? Yeah. I almost hate Sky Striker more. Just because for its just mystic did that, mind but... prevalency, yes. then its whole oh I have three engage and I'll draw seventeen billion cards. Yeah, like I hate it more for that. It's fine to play against now. Like they can engage all they want. It's just like mm, okay, okay, lightning storm. Um, I'm just gonna kaiju you. Thank you. Next question is from Jesse. Uh, should OTS stores better allow? Oh yeah, should OTS stores better allow proxies, perhaps for the no. staples and the like? Uh, $250 to play props just seems wild no. and not conducive for young players or dragon duels. No. Seems pay to win. No proxies. The biggest issue with proxies, especially in an OTS store, is their whole thing is they want you to pay to play. Yes. They're there to sell product and singles. So allowing people to bring in proxies, no matter what quality they are, kind of yes. defeats the purpose of what they're trying to do. Fuck, I hate proxies so much. Yeah, look... I understand yeah. the feeling of it because, yeah, there are those occasional cards where you're like, fuck, I could really use proxy. Like, no, not proxy. Prosp. And I just don't want to pay $300 for it. We had this conversation at Locals today before you got there where Jesse was like, oh, I would proxy this card, but I'm just going to play a 14-card extra deck. And then literally two seconds later, Leo was like, oh, I have that card, here you go. It's like, it's not that difficult to get cards. And... No proxies. Like, the only place you could conceivably get away with it is here in Australia, where getting shit is actually really hard. And even then... No, Brazil! (laughs) We proxy in Brazil! (laughs) Um, Yeah, you end up with, like, people like Josh that are like, oh, I'm proxying this really easy to get common just because I can't be bothered But this is the thing. Pokemon corrupted him in that regard because, like, everyone in Pokemon just runs proxies. Which makes no sense because Pokemon cards are even cheaper. Yeah. Like but staples I, for that game, like the entire raft of them, you can get them for ten dollars. My the, first ever Pokemon locals I went to. Spoiler, I win the locals. But I'm like, I am just gonna play like this like budget it was a floodgate deck. I was like, I'm just gonna play this because like I don't have the Denes and I don't have this and so it's fine. Like the Denae at the time was like forty five bucks. I was like, Oh I don't have them, I'll just play fucking uh Keldeo control. The horned yeah, yeah, yeah. unicorn thing. Um, I feel like you don't need to explain what Keldeo is. I was sort of a, sure if I said the name wrong, so I was like, <laughs> I'm going to like specify what this was. And like, I sat down round one, my opponent was just proxying half their deck. And I was like, 
if I lost this match, I'd be really pissed. <laughs> like, if I was to lose to proxies, I'd be fucking furious. Yeah, it would piss like, you off. I've paid for my stuff. Pay for yours. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my rant on proxies. So, yeah. Um, if you're yeah. testing with your friends at home, proxy. Yeah. If you're entering into a tournament, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Uh, next question comes to us from Paul Pelican. What deck, what's the deck you felt the most pride over creating yourself and why? Oh, I'm sure I've done this before. Um, there was a time when I made Dragon FTK. That was funny. Like, it got around the fact that Gandora X was not written the same way uh. as it was in the OCG, and I was like, I'm just gonna figure out how to make this work. I got to work, so I was pretty happy. FTK brain, always firing. Yeah, any time that I come up with an FTK, I'm like... It's been a while since there's been a fresh FTK. Yeah, Ever since... I just don't um, have the time to deck build anymore. <laughs> it's, make I just deck. don't have the time to sit down and be like, time to just come up with a new FTK. All right, that's um, maybe not... Well, actually, the next couple of weeks you're busy. But when you get back, that's a nice um, bonding activity for you and your girlfriend. You can sit down and design an FTK together. Sure. You can add some cute vanilla cards in there to let's, keep her happy. Let's teach you how to not let your opponent play. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, what better way to learn how to play? You don't have to worry about, you what, your worry about what your opponent's doing. doing. You just win. You just do your own thing. It's fine. Just win. Um, for me, it's probably Metaphys. Um, I was using it at a time where like, it was completely off the radar. Um, I wish I'd used it in the Nationals event because I would have actually done really well if I'd had similar matchups. Um, but ended up getting second in the regionals on Oceanics Day anyway, so that ended up being yeah. okay. Um, but yeah, just the concept of like, oh yeah, Trickstar's whole thing is like it banishes your hand under Droll and you can't do shit, and it's like, oh cool. Uh, true, 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 true. Well, that's the thing, they all trigger next turn, so they don't even care that, like, oh, you're under Droll, who cares? I'm not adding anything any like this turn anyway. <laughs> Like, hmm. yeah, I wish I'd had the forethought to run it in the main event. Yeah. Because the deck that I took into the main event was fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah. So bad. Uh, and then finally, uh, last question is from Tuesday's Noob. Who will win the cricket and why is it England? But it wasn't. It's raining in Manchester. Yeah, didn't you hear it was raining in Manchester? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but that does conclude us all for tonight. Thank you very much for listening and watching. If you are on a streaming service, feel free to favourite us. really helps us in the back end. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Uh, jump into the Discord, ask us some questions, and we will see you all next week. Peace. Bye. Oh, wait. No. We're still, we're still going. Nope. Uh, we'll be live from Japan next week. And the week after. Next two weeks. Live from Japan. So tune in. We'll make it. Jake will be <laughs> Just, we'll, we'll, it's gonna be strange. That. <laughs> Bye.